I believe we have an orchard oriole up here, not just a Baltimore oriole. Yep, orchard oriole. Orchard oriole. That's what's been singing. That's what threw me off. It's not an indigo bunting. It's not a northern water thrush. I'm embarrassed I even suggested those things. That's an orchard oriole. That's what's been singing. There is an African American man. I am in Central Park. He is recording me and threatening myself and my dog. I'm being threatened by a man into the Rambo. Please send the cops immediately. And I'm like, oh, we're going there. <laughs> and you know, I sort of had a decision to make, which is, you know, do I capitulate to this attempt at racial intimidation, um, or do I just keep doing what I'm doing? Unfortunately for her, I mean, she basically she pulled the pin on the hand grenade of race and tried to lob it at me and instead it blew up in her face. Oh, come on. I've been here for so many years, so many times. I had so many wonderful experiences. You know, how can one flare up possibly, you know, overwhelm all those years of, of other associations? I've been birding since I was roughly 10 years old. Yeah, nature was always big in our household, but for some reason with me, it took the form of birds. There's a flicker up here. Great crested flycatchers. American Red Star, and he's still up there. You, you can hear him singing if you listen. It's very high pitch. It's the bird going or it's just moved up into the branches and I'm being totally confused, but it doesn't it doesn't sound like northern water fish. It's um it just doesn't have quite the and that it's an olive cider flycatcher! Yes! Yes! Right up there on the bare branch. I had not seen one yet this spring, and I was getting a little irritated. Problem solved. The other thing you have in New York City is skyscrapers. That was the oven bird again. If I stop, if I shut up for a while, maybe we'll actually hear it. Hear it? Chitty, 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 chitty. That was the oven bird. And when, when we let this guy go through, except he shouldn't be riding his bike, but I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm not going there. I'm not starting trouble today. I am just not starting trouble. Hey, how are you? Cardinal, right there. See, now this guy has obviously been fed by people in this park, because he thinks we've got snacks for him. That's why he's coming so close. He's like, deliver or I'm gone. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> so um, I had just left the uh, pit stop bathrooms over there. I was walking uh, down this way. I'd actually pretty much finished my birding for the day. So I was on my way out of the park. And I was walking along here. And I heard this woman shouting a dog's name at the top of her lungs. Sure sign that the dog is off the leash here in the Ramble, which is a protected area. You see where those two people are walking right now? That's about where she was. And you'll see right there is a sign that says dogs must be on the leash at all times. That's where the dog was running around in the plantings. So, you know, basically at this point I decided um, I'm gonna record because that's what some of us have been doing is, is you know, taking out our iPhones and recording the scofflaw behavior so that we can document it and push for some change. And you have to understand this is a conflict that's been going on for years. I'm yeah, trying to look for birds up here and, and... There's a whole park and nobody's ever, ever had a problem with me except for you. 
and we try to document it so that we can say, hey, look, this is what's going on in the ramble, which was supposed to be unleashed all the time. So I pull out the iPhone. She didn't like that at all. Not one bit. Please don't come close to me. Please take your phone off. Please don't come close to me. I'm taking pictures of calling the cops. Please, please call the cops. Please call the cops. I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life. Please tell them whatever you like. Her attempt to threaten and weaponize the police against a black man. Because it was a racist act. But does that define her entire life? I don't know. And now here you have this woman who, we've all seen the video now, blatantly, blatantly knew how to use the power of, of, of her whiteness to threaten the life of another man and his blackness. She knew that that was a thread she could tap into, and she did, um, even though she considered herself or considers herself a liberal, you know? So that's, that's telling about how deep it runs and how much work we all have to do if we're gonna root it out. But it's gonna be hard. I, I, nobody, I, don't, I don't know that anybody has the answer on how we fix this, uh, how we change it, but we gotta do something, because we're dying. Oven bird. Chitty, 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 chitty. All right, enough of that. <laughs> Let's look at birds. <laughs> Come on, do it again. It was just a red-eyed Vireo singing up this way. But can you hear the difference between the two sounds? One is throaty and lower, the other is high pitch. So you start to tune into things like that. It takes time, um, but eventually it's sort of like, you know, when your mom calls you up on the phone, she doesn't have to say, this is your mother. She just says, hi, dear because of the tone of the voice, because of what she says, because she always answers the phone that way, you know instantly who it is. It's the same with the birds. Birds belong to everybody. Nobody owns the birds. They're, they're for all of us to enjoy, all of us to get out there and appreciate. Just the idea of uh, uh, inclusion for everybody, you know, regardless of race, color, creed, religion, sexual orientation, disability status, you know, everybody should, should be seen, because everybody is here. For me, because I'm gay myself, you know, there was not a lot of gay representation in comics. I introduced, I think, the first human gay character um, in, in Star Trek. I wrote, uh, uh, created and wrote a horror series for Marvel called Darkhold, Pages from the Book of Sins. Victoria Montessi, heir to the Montessi line, who have been fighting the book through the generations. Turns out she was uh, a lesbian, lesbian character. So it was a lot of fun to, to do that, to introduce her. Because up until then, there hadn't been a lot of uh, uh, lesbian characters. My incident in the scope of things is minor. It's a little dust up in the park. But people like George Floyd, you know, people like Ahmaud Arbery, wasn't minor. They lost their lives over this, this stuff. Um, and it keeps happening, and yet we don't seem to be able to change the dynamic, to, to alter that deep underlying vein of racial bias. The woman in the video apologized to Cooper, saying it was unacceptable, and I humbly and fully apologize to everyone who's seen that video, everyone that's been offended, everyone who thinks of me in a lower light, and I understand why they do. You know, and words are just words, and I can't undo what I did, but I, I sincerely and humbly apologize to everyone.
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.